Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by Smithville. Well, Seattle-based Amazon has named Indianapolis as one of 20 finalists to locate its second corporate headquarters, the big HQ2 project. The e-commerce giant accepted bids uh, late last year for what it expects to be a more than $5 billion investment that could bring up to 50,000 jobs with it. Chicago, Columbus, Ohio, uh, the other two Midwest cities still in the running. And Honda officially debuted its Indiana-built Insight prototype at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. The hybrid sedan will be produced by Honda Manufacturing of Indiana in Greensburg, along with the Civic Sedan and the CRV. Well, a cast of chickens and now goats has captured quite the following. The TV series Coop Dreams is in its fourth season now, and Coops for Troops, its latest TV uh, venture, is highlighting the healing uh, power of chickens on veterans uh, and the military families continues to grow as well. The show's uh, co-creator and Faded Jeans Productions partner Brad Hodder is here now to talk about the show's unique story, their storylines, and successes. Brad, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, okay. You're the men's soccer coach right. at DePaul University Correct. in Green, uh, Greencastle. Uh, how, did a DePaul, how did a soccer coach get into the video production world? Yeah, fortunate to be in a, in a unique set of uh, circumstances. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, I was asked to be the spokesperson for Keep America Beautiful on a driving a lawnmower across the United States campaign. And on the end of that, it had gotten so much media attention that uh, Lauren Michaels' production company asked about doing a show. And I, I, at that time, I had four-year-old twins. I couldn't right. leave for New York or L.A. And so we decided to settle that production company here. The sponsors of that, that trip jumped on board, and, and we actually began a, a, a production company here. Yeah. Talk about Coop Dreams, what it's yeah. all about. Chickens, right? It is, yeah. It's, it, when, you're, when you're serving in this role of spokesperson for a, a charity that talks about sustainability yeah. and recycling, it gets into you, and you have to really kind of reevaluate your life. And so one of the things that I needed to do is I, I wanted to get off the grid, try and find a healthier lifestyle, grow my own food, and couldn't really find the resources to, to learn about raising chickens, goats, bees. Mm -hmm. And we had this idea about putting this, that we can't be the only ones that are struggling to find this out. Yeah. So we had the idea of this show, and we're very fortunate that the discovery gave us airtime. Yep. So you got that, and now it's fourth yeah. season, yeah. so you're getting a lot of traction there. But Coops for Truths, which yeah. is a new venture, started out as an idea maybe to do a show segment. The therapeutic value, if you will, of chickens yeah. really turned into something special. Yeah, it's crazy. Who would have thought of that? But we were down, we had a shoot for Coop Dreams down in Austin, Texas, and we were taken to a nursing home that used chickens as therapy animals. And, and we started to see how the both the chickens and the residents benefited from this relationship. And as we looked into it, we found that with autistic children, it was very impactful, and that chickens can relieve loneliness, depression, PTSD, and that immediately leads you to the military. So we started it as a segment within Coop Dreams, giving away a chicken, a coop, and supplies to a worthy yeah. veteran. And the response was so great that it became its own show, and we're very fortunate that our partners, Neutrina, Troy yeah. Belt, have jumped on and said, yes, we believe in that, and uh, we're in our... We actually shoot our 10th one yep. tomorrow here in Indianapolis, and uh, we're fortunate that some networks have picked it up and carried it. Yeah, we'll talk about that and the acceptance. You're shooting here in Indianapolis. Right. You're shooting all over the, all over the country. Yeah. It's really gaining a lot of traction. It is. I think we've had uh, a couple in Tennessee, Virginia, Michigan, yeah. um, Iowa, and so it's, it's nice to have one here in Indianapolis where we yeah. not, not only don't have to travel, yeah. but get to thank a local veteran for their service and sacrifice. Only have 25 seconds, Brad, but where do you see things going uh, from here? You've got a lot of irons in the fire. Yeah. A lot of well, a national championship at DePaul is one. Okay, and, absolutely. And, and then would like love that. to see us be able to continue to, to grow Coop Dreams and Coops for Troops and make a bigger impact in both backyard homesteading and thanking veterans. All right. Brad Hodder is the uh, co-creator of Coop Dreams. Also, Coops for Troops, uh, gaining traction uh, around the country. And uh, Brad, as always, Thanks very much. Thank Talk you. To you soon.